namaste gratitude love and light sweet spirits welcome back to my channel thank you all so very much for joining me and welcome to anyone who is new to my process i am shaman destiny raven welcome to your january 2021 guidance general guidance so this year i have been guided to implement something that has been on my patreon and don't worry for those of you who are on my patreon there will also be some perks for this as well. So each month I pull oracles to assist those that are on my Patreon. So I will be implementing this part of the process to all of my social platforms. However, if you are following me on Patreon, then you will receive the extended version of this reading for the month. And also there are other readings that I do exclusively just for my Patreon. So if you're not following me on Patreon, then click the link after you watch this in the bio, in, in the uh, description, and you can head over to my Patreon. So I've been working with the mermaids for some time now, and um, I want to... Um, just introduce their, reintroduce their energies back into the collective because um, they've just been a pairing and they really will be playing um, a pivotal role moving forward from my perspective and my connections with them. Um, and so I will be putting together a course um, sometime this year to give everyone um, reintroductions to the mermaids, how you can connect with them yourselves, um, you know, working with them and all of those great stuff. So look out for that. So this reading, reading is going to be very simple. It's going to be past energies. It's going to be the energies of whenever you're clicking into this video and then you have an opportunity to shift into whatever guidance the mermaids are giving you. And then we are going to also pull an angel of um, Atlantis, the Archangel Oracles, um, to have you work with a specific archangel this month. Now you are more than welcome to work with as many archangels um, as you wish, but this is just more focused um, work that you can add on to whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. Let's tune in. Ooh, cards are already buzzing. <laughs> Ah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> what did I say? So the cards are already buzzing. Okay, we got one more. There we go. I love it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well. <laughs> Welcome to January. We got love, miracles, light. Yes. So we are definitely coming from this love frequency. I definitely felt it around the solstice. Even prior to that, there was just so much love in the air. A lot of the um, portals really tuned us in to more love. This year in general feels very heart centered. Um, last year, it was a lot of working through the heart and working through the, um, you know, all the ways that we have uh, put up barriers and, and uh, you know, this year is really going to give us an opportunity to open up and looky, looky, cookie. <laughs> January is setting us up for miracles based on the love that we have for ourselves, because if you see it's self-love here, first and foremost, always, right? And as we love ourselves, we push that energy out into the world, right? That's where the healing takes place. It takes place from you and then moving out into the material world. And we have miracles, not just a miracle, we have miracles. And I, in, in any Oracle deck, it, it's always just 
universally <laughs> the same meaning. I, I've had so many Oracle decks and anytime miracles or blessings or anything like that pops out, it's always some good stuff coming. It's never doom and gloom. Well, you know, perspective, but it's never any real challenges or anything like that. The only thing I would say is get out of your own way, you know, be open to receive, right? Um, meaning if you've asked for something, if you love something, if you, if you really are tuning into having something come into your physical world, then you've got to believe in it. And it, you can't keep going, Oh, I wish I'm hoping I am maybe I'm trying, I'm trying cause that's not doing right. Um, as an alchemist, it's already there. You are just putting it all together. Um, viewing it in a different mindset will is will definitely give you the opportunity to see the miracles counting your blessings attitude of gratitude what's going on around you currently that you can be thankful for you got up this morning you were breathing you're you're you've gotten enough guidance to uh do certain things that you maybe wouldn't have done you're setting um up lists, things that you want to accomplish. You still have your job, you have your health, you know, whatever it is, be, get into an attitude of gratitude. That will also allow the miracles to come in. And then let's get to the light. Do you see the lighthouse? There's so many things that we could say about this right now. Being the light for sure. Remembering that this is your light. You notice all this light is flocking to her. It's a result of her. The lighthouse is a, an extension of her. It's a, um, a, it's figurative. It's because it, it's symbolizing who she is. You are the light. However you choose to shine your light, that's how you work with your light and that's how you embody the light. And also too, the light is pouring in. The light is here for you. Always here to support you, here to protect you, here to be with you. I love it. Ooh. All right, let's go and see what kind of angelic support we have. Okay, I'm going to shuffle this once and see what we go. If it doesn't pop out, I'm going to have to uh, split the deck. I'm trying to keep this reading under 10 minutes for all of you on my Instagram and my Facebook. There we go. And what does that say? Willpower, of course. In all of this, in all of this, working with Archangel Hanuel, in all of this, in all of this, what does this call for? This calls for having willpower for sure. Once you've got the will, when there's a will, there's a way, right? So knowing that willpower is what it's going to take to get you just into this beautiful place. And it's willpower, not to say that all these things are going to go awry. It's knowing, it's trusting in your divineness divinity, <laughs> trusting in that, right? Trusting in your will, your divine will be done. Okay. That's what it's about. There's not some big guy or girl in the sky holding you like puppets on a string. This is your will. Working with Archangel Hanuel is really going to assist you in opening up to that. This is awesome. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for joining me. If you are following me on Patreon, then we will dive a little bit deeper in with some tarot. So head over to there and you will get the extended version of this reading and much, much more. If you are not following me on Patreon, then click the link and you can become a patron and get all of this plus more light language activations. There's going to be an amazing activation this month from the mermaids and uh, so much more things on Patreon. So that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you all next month. And as always, I send you my gratitude, my love,
and I call in the light. Namaste.